Today I want to do a quick demonstration on using a standard easy curl bar within your rep rack, which doesn't require a rackable easy curl bar. Stay tuned. So I'm in the middle of my workout and I wanted to show everyone a quick, easy tip, which might save you a little bit of money because rep like other companies sells rackable easy curl bars. Due to the width of the rep racks on the inside and outside, you know these rep racks are a little bit different than say a rogue rack because the width is narrower but that also has an advantage to the easy curl bars because as you can see here the standard easy curl bar is sitting on the j-cups now i'm not demonstrating this on the j-cups because i never use j-cups for my easy curl bar but i am going to show you how it works with your strap safeties flip down safeties or even spotter arms i'm going to load this bar up i'm going to place it on my strap safeties because I'm about to do some skull crushers. Let's see what happens when I load some weight onto this baby. I'm putting 25 pounds on either side. That's I have two 10 pound weight plates on either end plus a two and a half and the collar. These are sitting on my strap safeties. Collars on. The nice thing about the strap safety is that they are flexible. You gotta be careful when using a flexible safety like the strap safety, but obviously this works with the flip down safeties or the spotter arms even nicer because those don't budge. But I'm demonstrating here because I'm gonna use this easy curl bar for skull crushes. So. Just lay it on your safety and that's it. All right, so yeah, I'm just demonstrating how this standard easy curl bar is sitting on my two strap safeties. This is up close, so you can see that right now, the two and a half pound plate is what's sitting on the strap safety. On this side, it's not the collar. But we'll walk around to the other side. On this side, it is sitting on the collar. And I'm also gonna demonstrate how this sits just fine on the spotter arms. Obviously with the strap safeties, there's the component of safety because the straps can flex outward. So if you're using it this way, you want to be careful. Make sure you place it down on the strap safeties carefully so it sits and it doesn't move around. So this is another demonstration using it in another part of the rack. This is outside the rack on the spotter arms, which would be identical to placing your standard easy curl bar on flip down safeties within the rack. But right now I have this loaded with 45 pounds. As you can see, it's sitting on the collars on either side of the bar. So if you need to use it, when you're done, place it down carefully, sitting on the spot arms. You don't have to bend all the way down to the ground and pick it up or drop it back down at the end of your sets. It sits nicely. Obviously, you can raise the spot arms to whatever height you want, strap safety, flip down safety, so it's closer and there's minimal bend to pick it up and use it. As you saw, I demonstrated using the strap safeties to do skull crushers, very convenient. Probably a bunch of other ways you can use it, but I just want you to know a standard easy curl bar works just fine inside your rack and really no need to spend money on a rackable easy curl bar unless that's what you want to do. Rackable easy curl bar is a nicety for sure. As you can see, this works out just fine. I have yet to find a reason to spend the extra money on a rackable easy curl bar because in my case, in all the uses I've needed to use an easy curl bar, I've been able to use it within this rack without having to bend down to the ground in between sets to pick it up and place it back down on the ground. I can lift the spotter arms to a higher height if I wanted to, get it up, do my curls. As you can see from the demonstration prior, I used this to do my skull crushers. Works beautifully. It may take a little practice to get your strap safeties in the right position. Once you do, you're golden. I just wanted to share this with you and I hope you found this useful. I got to get back to my workout because I'm starting to cool down. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and take care.